What's going on, y'all? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Hope you guys are enjoying yourself. Uh, I just finished up doing a bunch of BS with everything, and uh, yeah, this is a mess. Look at this thing. Tools everywhere. So I'm going to put those up, and then I'm going to go uh, through everything, and I think I'll take y'all with me again. You know, I did a first one when I bought the box, and now with uh, Mr. Camera right there, figure it might be a good thing for uh, insurance purposes so this may be a little long-winded but uh, it is what it is so and yeah the tool the, the, the hairs drop down right now because uh, I am a god playing and all that stuff however I was watching uh, Country Mile Garage was a video on Alien Space Saver so that's good videos so definitely go check that out but uh, yeah, I'm going to go clean this thing up and we'll get on with the video. All right, let's get into this. box is actually cleared off somewhat, which is nice. And uh, if y'all, if any of y'all, I know there's a glare right there, but uh, yeah, any Alice in Chains fans in here? Hopefully so. Never met an Alice in Chains fan that I don't like. Would love to go see them in concert, but you know, whatever. So welding helmets up there, chargers over here, got the snap on 14.4. The Ingersoll ran my ashtray, which probably needs to be emptied, probably smells, I don't know. Everything smells like chemicals and all kinds of fun stuff over here. Uh, Streamlight chargers, water bottle, which usually is a coffee cup or whatever. Uh, pen and paper, it's a beautiful thing to have all the time. You gotta have pen and paper, gotta take notes and uh, draw stick figures and whatnot. You know, whatever I can do to screw off a little bit. Doesn't really happen a lot. I wish it did. Uh, 14 4 under hood light through snap on. Matco banner. I wish I had a snap on one or a tech in or, uh, you know, something else. I mean, maybe order some more. Tech Life Boss speakers. Got the uh, tablet that usually hangs out up here. Bring it home every night because people like to have sticky fingers. Drive plate. Beer bottle opener when I start uh, hitting the bottles a little bit. You know, I start with beer and then move to whiskey, which needs to be in my uh, toolbox because. Uh, I'm gonna start drinking at work, Salton. These people are driving me up the damn wall. I'm gonna cry in a corner and go slam my head into a sharp object. But I digress. Milwaukee M18 chargers, Mueller cup bowls. You got the 20 pound Wilton sledgehammer. I love that thing, it's a good persuasion stick. Speaking of persu persuasion sticks, this is a Mayhew Dominator. I believe it's a 52 inch? Not sure. But good bar, had it for a while. You know, this is a uh, Epic 84 with the stainless top with the LED strip and the two uh, power dudes on it. Main issue, come to work one day and uh, the light switch is broken. Why? Because people want to touch stuff. Don't touch stuff, people. Kind of the reason why we're making another uh, video on my toolbox. So this is the uh, socket drawer. And guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns on any of this stuff, feel free to uh, ask. I'm an open book. If you want to ask about my hooking days, you know, to pay for all this stuff. And we can talk about that too. There's no shame in my game. But in the back, we have three-quarter inch drive shallow Tecton sockets in chrome. Three-quarter inch drive Tecton uh, standard impact sockets. Oh, my back hurts. Sorry, I tried to crack it. Uh, I guess we're going to start standard back. So, uh, half inch drive impact, uh, Harbor Freight sockets, Pittsburgh, gray pneumatic swivels and three eighths drive. We have six point and craftsman for three eighths drive, Husky 12 point three eighths drive, quarter inch long tectons, half inch drive shallow, uh, Pittsburgh, the little three eighths. I guess super shallows, whatever Astro decides to name them as, but those and, you know, those. So we'll go with that. That sounds right. We have bolt biters over here, Craftsman uh, 3 8 shallows, quarter inch Tecton 3 8 shallows. Uh, this is Astro set, just a little tiny swivel set. Moving on, snap on uh, adapters. Have some three-quarter inch drive sockets for uh, doing air brakes. Got a couple of those. Got a couple of long 5.8 sockets that I've had to uh, 
I think they're five eighths. Pretty sure they're five eighths. But uh, bought those for doing death tanks and stuff like that on Peterbilts. Uh, we have. I want to say that's the pack our barring tool, and this is the uh, cat, or it might be vice versa. It is what it is. Oil pressure switch socket. Now these are all Vim right here. So e torques and things like that. Allen head sockets, security torques, you know, things of that nature. I absolutely love Vim products. I bought this Aries set right back there. I've never used them. I, I don't even know if they should belong in that drawer, but it is what it is. Right here we have a quarter inch drive. These need to go on a rail somewhere. But these are quarter inch drive uh, magnetic sockets. Bought these, kind of got into a stupid spot working on a John Deere 4024 and it was just one of those things I didn't want to drop something down and luckily my tool guy was coming that day so bought those and it kind of saved me from making mistakes you know sometimes mistakes are fun but uh, I don't like making those too often gear wrench crow's feet I bought these because they're cheap I mean nothing wrong with them you know they work uh, snap on these are for like uh band clamps and stuff like that for turbos heavy uh what's this up three and a quarter inch eight-sided uh axle nut socket for the s111 spicer dana rear ends like on dodge ram 3500s it's just a flip socket set that doesn't get used much i don't think i've ever used that got a, a long extension in here half inch to three eighths drive Bought that for uh, transmissions. This is just a spark plug socket set. I work on primarily diesel, so this barely gets used unless I take it home or to the racetrack. So there's that on that. This is just a filter socket set. Um, I was hoping it'd come in handy for my F-250 on the 7.3, but it does not have the correct size for that. This has to go to its proper home. This is for uh, like a chain breaking tool. Um, I've worked a lot with the uh, chains and hydraulics and stuff like that, so that comes in handy for me. This is part of a uh, set for like uh, serpentine belts, whatnot. I don't use those. I just kind of found a home in there, and it is what it is. Gear wrench, oil filter strap, little uh, three-jaw doodad, another three-jaw doodad. Some filter clamps for you know class 8 trucks is why I bought them metric Allen's uh, long I need to get some more of those for standard use four millimeter all the time more gear wrench uh, metric crow's feet got the Astro in what is that half inch drive shallow tacked in quarter inch six point or quarter inch metric six point Tacked in. Yeah, I want to say these are tacked in. Am I lying? No, they are tacked in. Wow. Tacked in quarter inch metric 12 point. Bought that set for a random job. I figured might as well buy everything. More of these Astro sockets. So we have Astro Super Stubbies. We have Sonax 3 8 Stubby or Shorts. Half inch drive. Sonax shorts tacked in 12 points um, these tacked in quarter inch long more gray pneumatic sockets back here for the swivel sockets these are 3 8 Sonax impact sockets and Pittsburgh metric and a couple sensor sockets Moving on to this fun drawer, teched in 22 through 8, eight millimeter, excuse me, 22, eight millim, 22 millimeter through 8 millimeter standard or combination wrenches, zero offset gear wrench, box end ratcheting wrenches, Sun XS wrenches, some no name flex head Wrenches bought from Amazon. I'll 
toolbox widgets in this. Don't know if I want to swap over to uh, Alien Space Servers yet. There's people here. Anyways, moving on with it. Screw them. Uh, gear wrench. I've had these for a while. 8 millimeter through, is it 24 millimeter? Nothing too crazy on that. Gear wrench flex, or flex box end wrenches, metric. We have Capri fin wrenches right here. And in the back, Sun X, uh, those are metric standard, you know, flare nut wrenches. And Sun X wrenches right here, metric and standard. Um, use those every now and then when doing hydraulic stuff. Usually use bigger wrenches, but you know, it is what it is. Oh man, a set of Craftsman wrenches. And you know, the funny thing about these right here, these gear wrench wrenches that I have, the uh, double box end ratcheting, non ratcheting, you know, zero offset wrenches. I got made fun of when I bought those. Oh, you know, toolbox Gucci, this, that, the third. Well, bought them with a purpose. Needed it. I was working on scissor lifts, and they came in handy for what I needed to do. So, especially on Skyjack. So, it is what it is. Yeah, the guy ended up buying himself a set after he realized what I was doing with him. So, you know, don't let people make fun of you for what you buy. Besides that, it's your money. Use it when you need it. So, teched in one inch through quarter inch right here. It's like the first set I bought getting back into the industry years ago. They've held up absolutely wonderfully. So, there's the wrench drawer. Gotta have the truck club decal on there. You know, Central Florida OBS, it's a beautiful thing. Screwdrivers, this kind of looks like a uh, grenade went off in a tool shop. Or in a garage, whatever you want to call it. Cabinet screwdrivers, you know, they came in handy. Don't really use them too often anymore. Gear wrench files. Mayhew Pro Grip uh, long picks. The other one sitting in my uh, OBS Chevy right now. Got some more smaller long picks. Whatever PT tool is. Guess I ordered those off of Amazon. Tecton uh, Impact Driver. This I got with a uh, set of uh, vice grips. Kind of a weird thing to throw in with vice grips, but. All right, getting uninterrupted. Sorry about that, guys. So uh, back at it like a crack attic. Um, pocket pry bars. We got the uh, Mayhew set, the Lang set, and some Sun X. You know, little grabbers, I guess. Oh, they got a bolt on it. That's why it looks so weird. Um, oh, here's this through. I thought I ordered it through my Matco guy. I can't remember, but. Um, you know, for crank windows, getting that clip out. Lights. This was a part of a Sonex kit. This is a little, you know, hex driver thing. Now, one of those fine, like, uh, this is this, this is that. Blah, 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 blah. Quarter inch uh, drive long flexi dude. You know, nothing too crazy. This needs to go in the proper drawer. I don't know why it's... Well, I guess it could stay there because we got pry bars in here. So, yeah, we got some mirrors back there. Nothing too crazy. A little Titan carbide scraper. I don't want to scratch any of that up. So, Astro Pneumatic uh, panel tools. This is a decent set of files, guys. I've had that for years. And... Uh, this set, the snap-on set, I would highly suggest staying away from because, well, it just feels like it's like Fisher Price type stuff. Yeah, you know, it just feels cheap as all get out. Uh, tire core removal tool, install tool, whatever you want to say. Pocket screwdrivers, magnets. Uh, this is another set of panel tools through Matco. If I can get it open, kind of fun doing one hand. Absolutely love this kit. It's probably rebranded, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, hooks, torques, screwdrivers, ratcheting screwdriver, snap on screwdriver set, 
and more picks and whatnot through Gear Wrench, Mayhew Pry Bars. You know, fun stuff, guys. Oh, totally forgot about this Vim set. This is a 77 piece set. So there's that. Next drawer. Speed drawer, just expendables, wires, fuses, hydraulic plug, this extra stuff, yeah. cut off wheels, grinding discs, things of that nature, brake, brake grease, zip ties, nothing too fun and exciting. Coming over here, ratchets, ratchets, ratchets. I don't know how that little guy got set up over there, but 100th anniversary. Chrome handle, what was that, 3 eighths and quarter inch snap on set. The icon, uh, what was that, 3 eighths, swivel head, all that fun stuff, along with the protectant and the gear wrench. We have a 3 eighths set of snap on ratchets right there, quarter inch set right here. Matco spark plug ratchet. I guess that's what they call it. That's what they sold it as, I guess. The little uh, offset dudes. Which have actually surprisingly come in handy. It's kind of hard to put that back with my left hand, but yeah. That one's a little bit easier. That's a quarter inch. These are some Tomei or Tomars. Stubby. I got the half inch drive, three eighths and quarter inch. More little quarter inch ratchets. I really don't use all that, but they're there, so it's kind of a nice thing. So that can go back over there. We'll put this over there. Not a fan of chrome handles. Not a fan of soft grips. I like, they're okay. I mean, you know, they have their place, but I know if I'm using it with nasty environment, I'm going to swap to something like this, a hard handled, because they end up getting all disgusting and all oogie like this cobalt ratchet that's been in my possession for the last 12, 13 years. So moving on, Matco ratchet, absolutely hate this handle. It's like I'm playing with a sex toy. How would I know that? I don't know, but you live and learn. Weird experiences in the past, you know, who knows? I'm a man of mystery, tool Jesus, sometimes. Anyways, moving on, guys. Sorry about this kind of nonsense at times. We have this gear rent set. I bought this five years ago when I got back into it, five, six years ago. And fantastic set. I mean, it, it did its job, but, uh, you know, for the price. I think it's like 80 bucks for all these ratchets. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's a little bent. So I decided to start upgrading to Snap-on. Bought these pearl-handled ones, these pearl-blue-handled ones, I should say. Uh, this is a torque wrench, I believe, 3 8 drive, half inch drive tacked in. This is a gear wrench electronic torque wrench. Um, we have an Easy Red extendable 3 quarter inch drive. We have two tacked in 3 quarter inch drives, a breaker bar. And that's it for this drawer. I like to eat lunch. My, on my toolbox pretty much you know hang out here put the feet up right there and just relax i know you like the pasty legs or they're, they're cute right but picture of the wife in the race car this is just paperwork tour nothing too crazy moving on this is like terrible looking i know guys flashlights tape measures uh calipers more flashlights little tiny baby grease gun c clamps brake tools there's a set of snap-on feeler gauges right there. I do like this little Astro kit. This, I mean, they feel cheap, but for what I do, I mean, I work on a lot of trailers, so, you know, a lot of trailer brake type stuff, so it makes life easier. I mainly use these little guys. So yeah, some disc brake tools for when I'm working on our uh, fleet trucks. Tools for slack adjusters. Other than that, I mean, oh, this brake gauge, I really need to go through this drawer. Yeah, there's a thermometer back there. Neat. 
Um, oh, there's where the battery was to uh, pick stuff up. We got a flywheel turner back over here. Man, it's, it's a real cluster, guys. This is a silencer for like Atlas Copco uh, compressors. That way they're not screaming. But yeah, this is a cool little tool uh, for doing like drum brakes. That way you can kind of just take the measurement of the brake itself and you know align it to that. Another hydraulic plug, which can go back in the other drawer. So yeah, a bunch of lights and stuff like that. There's lights and lights and lights and lights in this box. Because I have a thing for flashlights. I even got some of them in my car. Into the plier drawer. Snap on stuff right here. Had a coworker come over my toolbox and end up missing a pair of wire strippers. So that's fun stuff. Uh, that's an OTC pair, that blue handle. That's for Peterbilt trucks. They did a recall. That was your suggested tool. So it is what it is. Bolt cutters. You know, just basic pliers, Sonic stuff. Some gear wrench stuff. Chain wrench. Riveting tools. Nothing too crazy. Coming on down, we have an Astro pneumatic uh, locking plier slide hammer puller set. Comes in handy. That's an OTC rear axle bearing puller set. Um, was going to rebuild the rear end of my truck again. I've used it a couple times, but nothing too crazy lately. Bunch of hammers. Got the Wilton Hammer M18 grinder. Some Cobalt stuff, some Harbor Freight stuff. I like these Tacton ball peens, but I don't think they make those anymore. I think they went to a new style. Love my Pearl Blue uh, 40 ounce ball peen hammer. I got an orange one. I don't know why I bought it. I think there's a promo or something going on. U.S. General Work Tray. One of those little flexible dealies. Works out pretty good. And we're getting into the fun drawers. Got to give that back to my dad. That's a light that was warranted for him. It's a front end kit. Here's a Mighty Vac. Uh, they answer the. Uh, Jesus. That should be for airlift for the cooling systems. Power probe. Snap on cooling system tester. Taking boxes out. Got an Altel MV460, I believe it is, uh, inspection camera. A power probe torch. These are actually really sweet. These are for uh, broken tap extractors. If I can get them in the right spot. But yeah, broken tap extractors actually. A great purchase uh, these are made by a company called Walton uh, pretty much just throw them in when they break off you just cut them down and uh, keep rolling with it until you need a new one but yeah that saved my rear end a couple times it's a fuel pressure tester bought it from Amazon something cheap and it works so if I see that on my truck snap-on re-threading kit that comes in handy all the time. I love that tool. Great purchase. Needed it the first time I uh, bought it as soon as I walked off the tool truck. So, yeah, it's front end kit. Don't know what's in this box. Oh, it's a little heavy. Is it ball joint tool? Yep. Oh, Jesus. This is another bearing driver set. Bought this for doing scissor lifts was because it had some of the right size I needed ended up using it on some uh, hydraulic or on a hydraulic cylinders on the bushings on that the other day came in handy definitely a great tool to have I fit this back in its home made more space need a locker uh, I think this is a tune-up kit yeah diesel engine tune-up kit Oh, there's more stuff and more stuff and more stuff. This is a strut compressor. 
These are, uh, found this on Facebook Marketplace for 60 bucks. It's made through Cornwall. It's an extractor set. And ended up buying a 1960s snap-on toolbox that this guy was selling. It was his father's. I guess his father retired and gave it to him. He didn't want nothing to do with it. So, 500 bucks loaded up in my truck and goodbye. I will make room later. We'll just keep rolling with this, guys. Uh, this is a bearing pushing driver set. It is some cheapo depot northern tool set. But it is what it is. It can live back in its space. Nothing too crazy. Moving on. Oh man, back problems suck. Absolutely suck. 14.4 3 8 drive electric ratchet, needle scaler. Got some blowers back there. This is a 231C. Ingersoll Ram, DeWalt Impact Driver, Sun X 3 8 drive air ratchet. It's a 114 Ingersoll, 119 Max, Astro, Astro Onyx stubby half inch drive impact. Comes in great for uh, Peterbilts. Ingersoll half inch drive, th uh, 20 volt electric gun. Uh, this is a fantastic tool, Astro Onyx belt sander uh, we have a Ingersoll Rand Sawzall or Air Saw got a Ingersoll uh, grinder Ingersoll I am totally screwing up Ingersoll drill 3 8 Ingersoll Rand impact gun this snap on MG Seven five nine or one six six nine three eight. Go with that, right? Dewalt drill fourteen four uh, impact driver. And what is that? CT seven sixty one three eighths gun. So there's that. Moving down here. This is an extension drawer. Huskies extensions. Tecton three quarter inch drive extensions. Quarter inch drive wobble plus, three eighths drive wobble plus, half inch drive wobble plus. This is just a collection of randomness. Uh, this is a Vim Tools, a double universal with a lock on it. This thing's awesome. I have the quarter inch somewhere in here right there. It's a fantastic tool. Kind of neat, kind of odd to use, but definitely works. Drill bits. Bit adapters, punches, chisels, air hammer bits, uh, K and cut, carbide bits, snap on uh, 10 piece extractor set. This is a 21 piece snap on drill bit set. That's Harbor Freight. Uh, I think it's like a 9.99 bit set. Some Dewalt stuff. It's trash. More little bits. Roll pin punches and regular punches. Mayhew bits. Haven't used this yet. I'm kind of disappointed. Like the shake and break or whatever it is. Astro uh, burring set. And just Harbor Freight punches, stuff like that. Nothing too crazy in there. Moving on down ATD, Jumbo Crow's Feet, and Standard. I think this goes up to two inches. These things kind of suck. Um, either I put too much pressure on them. That's broken, obviously, along with this one. Inch and an eighth and inch and three eighths. Those are going to get replaced. Gear inch, inch and a sixteenth. Gear inch, inch and an eighth. Tech and inch, or inch and three sixteenths. Inch and three eighths. Inch and a quarter. Inch and seven sixteenths, half or inch and a half, inch five eighths, inch three quarter. This is a clutch inch and thirteen sixteenths, inch and seven eighths, and two inch. Along with some tacked in uh, Allen heads or Allen keys, whatever you want to call them. This drawer is a complete mess, but I do recommend this ESI uh, automotive connector kit. Fantastic. 
This is a Steelman terminal uh, pin kit. If I can get that closed. Big Banana OBD2 reader. Give some live data, not bad. Highly suggest this. These uh, long electric or long leads. Uh, fluke meter. When I was making a lot of my own battery cables, this thing came in handy. I like it better than the uh, one you hammer on. This is a Medtronic's battery tester, Napa battery charger, temp gun. Fun thing about these. I had a coworker that liked to party a little bit with the, uh, you know, Bolivian marching powder, the powdered Red Bull, the booger sugar. Yeah, he used one as a tutor, like, as soon as I turned my back from him, and he had that thing up his nose quicker than quick. Fun guy. Absolutely love the dude. JLG analyzer. Uh, this is a Matco terminal cleaning kit. My buddy, uh, Josh turned me on to that, and definitely has come in handy i got a bigger one for trailer connectors somewhere i think it's in the other drawer i just kind of bypassed it back probing kits in here um i think i already said jlg analyzer you got a uh, remote start uv light trailer connectors more pending tools some more lights underneath there we got a bunch of ford rotunda kits for six fours and Six toes, I believe. Oh, man. This is a Doyle kit right there for uh, nut certs. Bear trap light. This is soldering kit for uh, soldering. It's one of those rechargeable ones, which is kind of neat. NOCO uh, battery jumper. This is Astro snapping plier set. It sucks. Keep a bag of... Uh, Ratchet straps, I got some bungee cords in there, hood prop, Dremel, another impact driver set. This is a gear wrench, three jaw plier, or three jaw puller set. Haven't really needed to use that. I got a, another front end kit for Chryslers and stuff like that. There's a, it's a lot. If y'all really want to see this, I guess we can go into it. Um, I guess I did right. It's an in-depth tour, so let's have at it. Guys, back pain really sucks, and uh, I'm picking up beer on the ride home, and I'm going to sit there and drink tonight. Oh, look. Let there be light. Shut up, Meg. Sit there, flash your stupid light at me. Matco lights thing for my camera notes all that fun stuff drill bits this is a compression tester through mighty back maybe one day we'll uh, use that this is a steering wheel puller set through snap on and down below here there is a clutch uh kind of like a jumbo re uh tap and die set so that's kind of neat this is a uh Brake rotor run out gauge. I bought it to use on a flywheel. Just kept going through a bunch of issues with those. Burning up drive plates left and right. Finally got that issue handled, but yeah, so that's that on that. That's that's the toolbox, guys. So any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. I mean, sorry it's a little long-winded, but you know. Hey, if you're here, you're here. If not, it is what it is. But, yeah, guys, any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to ask away, and uh, I'll do my best to answer it. If you guys want any uh, videos on certain things, I'll be more than happy to make them. And uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and keep wrenching, y'all. Have a good night.